All right, so now you're on board with why to have apple cider vinegar, but what about when to have apple cider vinegar? Well, in this video, I'm gonna cover what the research says, and we're gonna discuss some nutritional benefits of apple cider vinegar, and I'm gonna share with you how I incorporate it into my daily lifestyle, which might help you on how to incorporate it into yours. So, let's get started. So is it better to have apple cider vinegar in the morning or at night before bed? This is a question I get asked all the time. So let's go through some basic facts so that you can kind of come to an informed decision. Apple cider vinegar is acidic on the pH scale, which can cause an issue for those who suffer from indigestion or heartburn. So if that describes you, you're gonna probably wanna have your apple cider vinegar in the morning where you have more time for it to digest and you're active and all of that rather than before laying down before bed. If you suffer from diabetes or if you're pre-diabetic, there has been some research that shows that apple cider vinegar before bed can help reduce blood sugar levels so that might be a good choice for you however this does not replace your medication so definitely talk with your physician and keep going with your prescribed medication as well it is not a cure to diabetes in fact speaking of medications apple cider vinegar can have a negative effect on potassium levels and it could also interact with certain drugs that reduce your potassium levels in your body and that's including some diabetes medicines and as well as diuretics so if that describes you, definitely you wanna talk with your doctor about that. Also, regularly drinking any type of vinegar, apple cider vinegar or otherwise, can lead to eroding your tooth enamel. And that's important because you don't regrow tooth enamel. Once you lose it, it's gone. So you wanna make sure that you're protecting it because your tooth enamel is what helps protect your teeth from decay and from disease. So for that reason, either in the morning or at night, you're gonna to wanna to make sure to rinse your mouth out with water after having your apple cider vinegar, just to make sure that it's not sitting on your teeth all the time. And you definitely don't wanna have straight shots of apple cider vinegar, you wanna have it diluted in water. And we'll talk about how I do that in a little bit. Having apple cider vinegar before you break your fast in the morning can be helpful to reduce your overall blood sugar levels after you eat, which will help you from having an energy crash and will also help you feel fuller when you're eating and breaking your fast. So based off of those, the bottom line is it really depends on your preference and any medical conditions or lifestyle choices that you're making on whether or not to have it in the morning or at night. But let me share what my recommendations are for how I do it and how I found that it really works well for a healthy intermittent fasting lifestyle. First, you're gonna wanna dilute your apple cider vinegar in water. You have about one to two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar in about one to two cups of water. And diluting it is what's gonna help you to reduce any effects on your mouth, esophagus, your teeth, and all of that. We want to reduce any impact while we're also getting the benefits of the apple cider vinegar. Personally, I find having apple cider vinegar before breaking my fast, about 30 minutes ahead of time, is the best choice for me because because that helps reduce your blood sugar levels post eating. It helps make you feel fuller. It helps get your body ready with some minerals and nutrients before you're breaking your fast. It helps reduce your risk for indigestion and acid reflux for when you do eat. And it's also an easy way to just make sure you get it in for the day. And I talk more about this strategy in my ACV and intermittent fasting video, which I can link for you below. Another time that I use apple cider vinegar is during my fasting periods, but not before I'm gonna break my fast, but after I've started my fast. And that that is because apple cider vinegar does not break your fast and in fact will actually help you feel fuller and more satiated longer while you're fasting. So if I'm feeling really hungry after I've started my fast, having some water with some apple cider vinegar in it is a really great way to kind of get rid of those hunger pangs and then move on. Having it during your fast is gonna also help to improve your fat burning potential. It's gonna help you with your thinking while you're not eating. It's gonna help replenish some vitamins and minerals that are lost while you are fasting. So it's a big win at that time of the day day as well. Also, if you just can't stomach the thought of having ACV in your water and that's just not something that you enjoy, there are some options for you. You can add a little bit of lemon juice and some cinnamon and maybe even a little bit of raw honey. And if you want my recipe for what I have, I have an ACV tonic that I can share with you in the description below as well. But you can also have apple cider vinegar just mixed in a salad dressing or you can have it in a marinade if you're marinating some vegetables or your meat. So having it just in general over the course of the day is perfectly fine. Does it have to be in water. And I know a lot of you are gonna ask me about ACV pills and gummies and the efficacy of those. And really, I can't give you a good answer because there's no real good direction from the FDA on whether or not those are as beneficial. There haven't been as many studies on those. And more often than not, those are cut with a lot of other ingredients which are gonna have other impacts on your health and wellness. So those are really the wild west right now. So if you are looking for those benefits, I would just recommend sticking to plain old apple cider vinegar. And also keep in mind that apple cider vinegar is just not a miracle cure. It's not gonna cure everything. It's not gonna make you lose 
10 pounds in a week. It's just basically something you can add on to your healthy lifestyle as part of it, as part of eating clean and unprocessed foods, as part of getting daily exercise, as part of drinking your water and getting good rest. It's just part of the picture of a larger healthy lifestyle. Next, check out my video on apple cider vinegar and intermittent fasting so you can see how you can combine those two for the best of both worlds. And I will see you in the next video.